you don't come in, there's a lot of excitement over the arrival of the World Cup. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, soccer fever has definitely hit Toronto, and the World Cup has not even begun. Now, I'm joined by a couple fans down at the uh, BMO field right now. Hi, guys. How are you? Mm -hmm. Good. Now, I know you're super pumped about the TFC game tonight. Tell me, how does it feel to have the World Cup here in Toronto as fans? I think it's phenomenal because uh, it's not often that you'll see a trophy of that nature come to a country that traditionally doesn't have too much success in soccer. With so many ethnic backgrounds, us being Irish, we're used to success. So <laughs> it's only beneficial for other Canadians to see that trophy come through, you know what I mean? I'm super pumped about it. Uh, I went down to CBC to see it today and I think it's great. I don't think it'll happen very much in my lifetime that I'll ever get a chance to see the World Cup. Well, as you guys said, you know, Canadians are getting a taste of what it feels like to have the World Cup here in the city. Do you have any pointers for uh, the players out in the field this coming June? This coming June? Yeah. Well, they'll be all right. They just keep working away, plugging away, and uh, hopefully make the playoffs. They keep your hand off the ball. Keep your hand off the <laughs> ball. Keep your hand off the ball. As the Irish know. <laughs> well, there you go. Definitely a lot of enthusiasm down here at TSC. So that World Cup trophy is making its rounds around the world. The next place it's going to be heading off to is uh, Houston, Miami, and then all the way back to South Africa where the big game is going to be happening.